Hello, everybody, and Hi. welcome to At Home with the Herdy Singers. And we're just relaxing here at the lodge, and uh, we've got the fire going. It's raining outside. It's a nice time just to, just to chill. Spend chill time out. together, huh? Yeah, to be together. We have a special program for you. We're going to, you're going to meet the youngest heritage singer. His name is McGill. Welcome, to, well, McGill, to the At Home with the Heritage Singer. It's good to be here. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to, to be here with all of you. Yeah. So tell us, like, <laughs> where are you from? How long have you been singing? Well, heritage? I grew up in Pond Springs, um, that area in, um, in the desert down in, in Southern California. Um, Grew up in uh, in a home where we loved music. Yeah, I loved doing music. Yeah. My my family loved doing music, and I I just uh, have had a big passion for music since I was a little kid. But not only music, you you've wanted to be a, in ministry, haven't you? Ministry is yeah. Ministry has always been my my calling, yeah. and uh, I think there was a little bit of time in my in in my young adult life where I was kind of wavering of what I was going to do, but. God has always had that calling uh, for ministry, and wow. uh, because I was a, I was a, you know, yeah. I was doing music, you know, as as my ministry as a yeah. young kid. Well, let's pause a moment here with our uh, conversation, and we just want you folks to know that we want you to let us know where you're from. If you have a question, we want to answer it today, so don't be shy. Uh, this is being seen all over the world, so. We want to hear from you. You know something? We played a little trick on you. We got <laughs> I can a hold, see that. We got a hold of your... <laughs> yeah, he has some of these little... <laughs> these, are, these are some so of the... So how old were you there? I, you, was, that was, I was three years old there, and that's actually... It's interesting that you, that picture's up there because <laughs> that's actually supposed to be all the kids singing at church, and uh -uh. Uh, I just took the mic from the kids, and I just <laughs> um, took matters into my own hands yeah, and started yeah. singing. Oh, and you had your own mariachi band, huh? Well, yes, like I said, I was, I, I was, I came from a musical family. My grandfather's actually behind me, and wow. uh, he has um, the one on the left, or one the on one the... with the biggest guitar back there. Okay. Oh, that's awesome! Bass guitar. Yeah, yeah, that's the bass. The yeah, the bass. But it, um, since I was a kid, that's wow. uh, yeah. that was, and I love, I love, I loved singing at church. That's yeah. that's special music at a church somewhere. I don't even remember where that was at. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. wow, man! The white jacket and everything. The white, the white jacket. Big, this was actually that was a that was that last picture. That was actually an eighth grade graduation. The, actually, the eighth grade class asked me wow. if I could sing a song at their graduation. Wow, that is sweet. Well, you know, your mom kind of sent something special to us this week. Oh boy. Right, Dad. Yeah, and uh, we kind of, your mom kind of worked with us, and uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna see you when you were about what I think you was seven. I think you were about three or four or five. It's around, or, it's around that around that wow. age is what I'm what I'm this hearing. Is, this is so cute. And so we're, we're watching these little pictures, but then pretty soon you're gonna see the man sing. There he Here is. Here we go. Oh man. Take it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that. Everybody actually made fun of me because of my hand motions. I, I actually think I got those under control. <laughs> since did I, you get actually, those? right that that thing right there, it's I wasn't scratching my ear. I really did I really did know the signs and everything. That was me. I needed more monitors, so I <laughs> <laughs> you, you learned that young, that's good. Uh, yeah, well, look at that. I mean, he's ready. <laughs> And you're uh, a snappy dresser back then? Yes, yes, it hasn't <laughs> changed. Still a snappy dresser? My mom, you know, got me fitted for that, for that particular concert that I was doing. That's, that was one of my first concerts when I was a little kid. And, uh, so I, did you sing in Spanish mainly I started, when you were little? Yeah, or? I started singing. Actually, right there, I was actually looking for cues. I still look for cues <laughs> uh, when we're up on stage. I needed some words. Who was giving you the cues? My mom. That's <laughs> my mom would always uh, sit off to the side and cue me in. Um, I was so young. I was still trying to remember when to come in in a song. Yeah. You're looking for words. the words right I was now. For words. I see your hand go like yeah. this. Where's, where's the words? Come you on, know. mama. 
I think I still do that to you. I kind of <laughs> look, turn to you. <laughs> You're like, Mom, I'm here. I need you. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. You got the move, though. You got the move. You know, there would, have, there would have been a time, Max, where I would have been very, very nervous about putting these videos up. There's actually some people that have had some access to these videos and they posted them on YouTube. Oh. And I, I asked them to bring them down because it was, it was You're so... You were shy? I was embarrassed. Hey, Miguel, that's yeah, awesome you got to start so now. young. Yeah, and I just, that was just... That was just how mom and dad brought me up musically. That was something that I was able to connect with. Oh, yeah. So your grandpa was musical, and yeah. who else? My, my in mom your family? is very musical. Uh, my mom's very musical. She will, she's so shy. She's never sung a solo in her life, but she taught me how to sing. She, you know, oh. you know. And as I got older, I started going to music lessons. I had music teachers and. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they messed up, didn't they, a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> those, those music <laughs> teachers. <laughs> but my mom, my mom has a very beautiful voice. She wouldn't admit it, but she really does have a beautiful voice. Remember okay. when we first talked, I said, trying to be gentle with you, but I said, probably if you ever would be a heritage singer, you'd have to probably pull back the vibrato yes, a little bit. Yes, And you on. did. You, you, you corrected that. That was awesome, yes. Miguel. Yeah. Because when I heard you in Palm Springs, not not when you were little, but you were a little bit older. Maybe. I remember that. I was about seven or eight years old when I yeah. when I first met you. I was introduced to Max. I actually had never heard of the Heritage Singers before. What? And, no, for real. So I hadn't I hadn't <laughs> heard about the Heritage Singers, and uh, um, we're older than dirt. Come on. Oh, no, I know. But one of our one of our church members at our church it gave me a, a cassette i know those people yes yeah. and they and i and they i played that and i fell in love seriously the first time i heard Do I you mean, remember which, as a kid, which album that was it wasn't chance? an album it was a track because oh, but it track. had your guys a sample oh the demo the demo and wow. so I was the first song that I ever listened to was Gentle Shepherd, oh, wow. and oh, um, wow. I remember hearing I remember hearing Heritage Singers, and I just fell in love in tears, you know, of, of just the harmony, and it really touched my my young soul. And so when they when they told me that you guys were going to be in Palm Springs, I you know they took me to see you. I met Max and. You know, I remember I sang a song and I all said, of the I'm gonna advice. Watch, I'm going to watch this guy. <laughs> but I kind of, as you as you grew up, I, I kind of lost track of you. Yeah, you, we, you, be, uh, uh, VOP kind of, yeah. we stopped doing uh, Voice of Prophecy. Yeah. They they changed and we didn't, we weren't doing as much but music. But you sang for them a little bit, yeah, right? And yeah, and we that's had where we too. Met, you, you, were, you guys, yeah. and so we crossed paths there. And, uh, and ever since that time, Max... Um, and Val, I said, I, I want to sing with this group. And I remember mm. the first one, that first concert that I ever heard was, you know, you know, I saw the group come up. I saw Tim Davis and his long jacket. I was like, I, I gotta be, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta sing like, yeah. like those guys. I'm going to, I'm going to be up there one day. <laughs> and, uh, I remember going home and, and playing around and, you know, people don't believe this, but I really, the hairbrush and the speakers <laughs> on the floor, I, you know, I was a heritage singer there. Yeah. So. <laughs> So well, I, with, it's a blessing to have you. You've been a blessing to us, and uh, you brought uh, some youth into this old Heritage <laughs> Singers oh, group. So it's been a blessing for me. It really has been a blessing for me. But it's, in the ministry, uh, you've you've always told me that Max, I love to sing, yeah. but my heart is in ministry, and I use music with ministry. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've always kind of wanted to be a pastor, haven't you? Yes. And I, you know, and... Uh, did you study to well, be a pastor? It, yeah, I, I did. You know, and I remember when I first sent you that, when we, yeah. when we reconnected again, Max, right. I sent you an email. I was actually in college finishing my, my degree, and I sent this letter just to see what would, what would happen. Yeah. And maybe, you know, I, I even said, you probably don't remember me. And, <laughs> but he did. He did remember oh, me. He you. remembered who I was. And, you know, I remember you calling, calling me and, and saying, hey, why don't you come up to the Napa? Wasn't it the Napa church or well, something? Well, you first initially said, I don't know if you remember, you said, why don't you come over to the lodge, bring two songs yeah. to okay. sing, to sing. And, and I said, okay, yes, I'd be happy to. I was so excited. I was looking for the songs. And then I think a week later, you <laughs> called me. Called you. 
Because we had a plan. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know what it was. I didn't it was know what it was. a secret plan. So you called a week later and, uh, and you said, we're in Napa. Are you going to be at that concert? And I was like, yeah, I was planning on being there. I said, will you sing a song? And that's where, that's where it all happened. Because we had it all planned that we were going to hire you that night. So I said to the audience, after you sang, I said to the audience, do you think we should hire him? And that's they right. all clap, clap, that's clap. Right. And that was the, that's when we hired you to be part that's, of the and that, I remember singing that song. That was the worst, the worst I've ever sounded. I was so nervous. <laughs> oh, well, that's what you think. But anyway. And God but, has perfect timing because just a week or two before, God the always. tenor that was singing with us, Marcelo, ended up saying that they were moving away. That's right. And that's we right. were thinking, Lord, where are we going to find another guy that's going to fit into uh, this group and you, yeah it just it was so amazing how God just worked it out and that's the proof that God was so involved in this ministry he and cares. I think that was the first time that when I when I started singing with you guys I think that's what I found most in love with the group yes I got to sing but yeah. it was it was it was a ministry about it you know it was going down and praying with people it was it was seeing it was hearing it's so amazing to go to all these different places and all these people that come to these concerts mm -hmm. and say, I gave my life at a Heritage Singers concert. And hearing yeah. those stories and knowing that this was, a, this was more than getting up there and singing and, and, yeah. having, the, and having a concert. It was, life -changing. it was a life changing experience. And yeah. people don't realize that we singers, we are blessed not because of our voices, but because of the ministry that's yeah. taken place. And so, yeah, I after. So you actually took ministry yeah, in college then yeah, to be a pastor. I'm a pastor right now, and I enjoy I enjoy doing ministry with people. Yeah. And you know, you guys have been a big part of teaching me how to how to relate with people, how to talk with people, how to pray with people, how to. So we actually have a heritage singer pastor with us. Absolutely, now. So absolutely. So we're so yeah. happy about that. Yeah. But there was someone mm -hmm. very special that was at a concert. I didn't know her, and uh, we was in Elmshaven, I think, yeah, that's the right. church, and I remember one thing, it was raining so hard that night. Yeah. And so, at the end of the concert, I just made a little statement. I said, remember us in your prayers. We're really struggling right, right now. We're really struggling. And, uh, and I never go back to the back where we sell tapes because I always start talking to people up front. But for some reason, mm -hmm. and it was a God thing, I was. walked back where it the was. tapes were being sold. And this lady came up to me and kind of pulled my suit jacket and she said, uh, you're not gonna quit. Mm. You're not gonna quit. Still bring, it still gives me chills when I hear the story. Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, this lady had been away from the Lord for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us a little bit about her life when and, you met her. And, and kind of fill in, Val, because I don't remember all the details, but as she, like you said, Max, 40 years that she had strayed years, away from yeah. God. Yeah, so that, that night yeah. she, I think, accepted the Lord into she her did. heart. She did because of the music. Mm -hmm. And God was already prompting her heart, and yeah. she said, you're not going to quit. And She, she said, actually wouldn't step foot in a church, ironically. No. In fact, she wasn't going to come that night, but the lady that she was visiting, Invited she her. says, hey, come on, let's go. She says, where? She says, there's a Heritage Singers concert. I'm not going, look at me, I, it's raining, blah, blah, blah. What's interesting is she did, she still, she knew who the Heritage Singers were. She, she remembered. Knew. She was a she little girl. Us. She we was a little girl. Know. Yeah, no. we didn't know her. She was a little girl. But that night, that concert transformed her life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she told us the stories of, you know, being, you know, being hurt, you know, physically and, and emotionally and the drugs yeah, and yeah. a life, a 40 life. years of, of just no no God in her life. Heartache. And just, just heartache and brokenness. And no joy. No joy. Just yeah. that night, that night, and it's not through us, but through the Holy Spirit, but no. yeah. the joy That's came right. back into yeah. her life. And joy came back into her life. Well, she was... Uh, in the era of where they had these big concerts in a field, you know, with thousands oh, of like Woodstock, Woodstock, kind of. and uh, the hippie era, yeah. smoking dope, and that's right, and uh, big bands playing. She was all into that. That's right, big time. You know, and I, and and I, if I if I if I can say 
when she started to transform her life, I mean, there was one thing after another, one battle yeah. after another, one battle overcome. She yeah. overcame her, her, her smoking. smoking and then her drugs. her drugs and, you know, thing after God thing. You could watch her physically oh. transform her face. And I think, have we said her name? You know, Shirley. Her name is Shirley. Shirley. Yeah, Shirley we Goodness. We nicknamed her Shirley Goodness yeah, because yeah. Uh, she has such a special place in our hearts. Um, we end up spending a lot of time together. Yeah, that's Shirley. Uh, she, as she was hanging out with us a lot, we were noticing that she was having some difficulties swallowing and speaking and, speaking, and we Eating. thought maybe she'd had a stroke. So uh, my husband and I started taking her to the doctor and a long story short, she ended up having Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. And I'm telling you, it broke all of our hearts because we were watching this disease take over her 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 speech, her life. But at the same time, she about choked. Uh, several oh yeah, several times. times she was choked when we were together. And uh, yeah, I have never experienced I remember this one with night anyone she before. She was here and, and choked, and we, we had to call, call the paramedics. Paramedics and... came, yeah, but. This picture is really special because I remember we were on our bus and this is when she could no longer speak. She could barely even eat. And then she would write on that board. That was the way that we would communicate. And you can read what that says, right? And this is and this is her and this words. Is, and this is so moving because even though she knew she had this disease, even though she knew she was gonna die. She was going to die. She had so much faith and so much love for God. And she's there on the bus, even in her state, she was going to concerts. But that board says, God can take me when he wants to take me. She started traveling with us. Yeah, she did. In and fact, she was the reason for two or three years that we were able to go to different places all over the United yeah. States. And she would go with us. She She'd would go travel with us, us. And she was able to pay the flight. That's right. And we was able to do that. Uh, and uh, we don't have that anymore. But boy, we, we were blessed when she We did were that. very blessed with her. But this, this, what she writes here is so awesome because she mm. says, God can take me when he wants to take me because his time is perfect. I mean, her faith, her love for God and... And I just yeah, it was she never wavered. It was a it was a so intense we, battle. You uh, you baptized her then, I did. didn't you? And that's the that's the greatest that's the greatest thing when I when I that those concerts that changed life. The fact that we were able to baptize a soul for Jesus. I remember that day. It I was too. it was done at the lodge. It was so much joy. She looks totally different than when yeah, we she first was, met she her. She came she out beaming. of the water. She, she was a beaming. Joy we we sang face. Oh Happy Day yeah, as oh. soon as she came out of the water. It yeah. just, that and, was my first baptism and one that I will never forget because there was, there was so much. Emotion in there, yeah. So much, so and much watching love her, Jesus. And watching her life trans, transform. That's right. Face, she, had, uh, she, had, she, had, she had Jesus joy. in her. Yes. Oh. And then sadly, uh, after she was diagnosed with that disease, she did not live that long. And she was only 65 years old. Yeah. And her spiritual, her spiritual, her, her baptism was not too long after that she passed away. So you baptized her and then had her funeral. That's right. I know, Heritage sang it. Heritage, Both yeah. of them, too. Yeah. We sang. Yeah, we, we sang will, at both of her we, baptism and her funeral. I had the homily. It was... I think her favorite song was Jesus is the Lighthouse. Yes. And, yeah, uh, I think we actually sent her this video the, I remember. the night the night and, that she passed away, actually. Yeah, I think she did. We and, were at a concert in San Diego and we, we knew she wasn't doing well and so we and before we all the concert got together yeah. and we, we recorded Jesus is the Lighthouse for her and I think we have that. Can we roll that in? And, uh, Clearly see 
If it wasn't for the lighthouse, tell me where would this ship be? Wow. I remember that. I remember that yeah. night. We were in a concert in San Diego. Yes. and That's right. We all got up on the stage there and recorded and that. And we didn't actually know we, yet that she was going to pass away, but we, we had this heaviness on all of us, and we felt it. And then that night at 2 in the morning, I got a call from hospice saying that she had passed away. And it was really sad. Hard to hold but, the tears back. But at the same time, we wanted to show her what it felt like to be loved unconditionally, yeah. how God loved her no matter what had happened in her past, and that he had so much for her. And just the assurance, knowing that we're going to see Shirley again. We are going to see her again. Yeah, yeah. and she's going to have a healthy body and no more illness. And I want you guys to be encouraged today. That's if you're right. going through anything that you're just is breaking your heart mm -hmm. or something maybe nobody even knows about, I want you to be encouraged because... Uh, God cares so much about the little things in our life Absolutely. Um, that are actually really big things to us, but things that maybe we're holding on ourselves and trying to handle on our own. Um, God's offering you today peace and comfort in the midst of all that. Amen. You know, some things we're never going to understand why. Because I mean, even with Shirley, I think, wow, she just accepted the Lord and in fact, Why did she, she have to go? That. But she was so at peace. You guys. She was at peace. She yeah. was so She's at, at peace. peace. She found Jesus. And you know what? The last thing she remembers is that she was loved by people. Yeah. She was cared by people. Yeah. And she went to rest in Jesus. And we will see her again. Yeah. We will. Well, and that, we just that, say, I trust I'll you, Lord. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. Well, I think we might have a question or two from some people. And, uh, Let's put that on the screen. I think they want to ask uh, okay, McGill a question. You, you want to read you want that? To read that um, he, um, hi, everyone. I have a question for Miguel. Like me, he probably grew up listening to Heritage Music. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, when you joined the group, was there anything different than you thought? Anything that surprised you? Um, I think. And that, wait a minute, that's from Brazil. That is from Brazil. That is all the way <laughs> from Brazil. Way. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey Brazilian. Como vai? That's right. Tudo bem? You know, to be. To, <laughs> that's all I know. To be honest, um, I when I joined the group, I was very, very nervous. And uh, I thought Max was going to fire me because I heard some stories oh. about, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, you. that uh, were told within the group. But you know what, you guys, when I joined the group, I was just surprised because I, I didn't join a group to sing in a group and to tour. I joined a group, I joined a family. Um, and I think if you ask every one of the singers, we're a family. They, they, took, a, they took me in and treated me like I was, um, I was their own. Like you've been and there for a long time. That's right. Like, like it just was perfect. So, yeah, joining the group has not only been great uh, to do music and to do ministry, but it's my family. Um, we hang out when we, even when we're not singing together, we. Yeah, we, on our days off, we run around. That's right. Most that's musicians, right. they don't want to see each other. That's right. Only and, uh, on stage. You know, Max loves my daughter. Max and Lucy love my daughter Aww. like their own. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I should it's, have a picture of Annalise. I know. And my, so we're family, and yeah. that's, that's the biggest difference when I joined the group that I never knew that that was going to be what I would experience. I think and, we have another one, don't we? Another question? Or And you've been yeah. married how long? I've been married eight years. And you married your um, high, school high school sweetheart, sweetheart right? Yes. Yeah, the she's only, precious. The only and God friend. knew who I was supposed to marry yeah. because there has been no one more supportive than yeah, my I'm wife. Like, amen. Yes, well, there's and another, you there? uh, another question for you. Will you be doing any interviews with singers from the past as to where they are now since they left the group? Like Chris Willis, uh, Jackie, Eliza. I think that's more of a question for you, Billy. <laughs> yeah, we are planning on doing that. So... Let us know who we're you want to Skype a lot of these. Yeah, people. let us know who you want to hear from. And yes, that's a great we're, idea. We're definitely gonna um, be skyping with these people. Uh, we're still very close friends. We keep in touch, and I'm sure they would love to. You know, Becky let was you know my what's secretary happening. for 
what, 10 years or more? They yeah, could, like 20 years, I think. Or 20 years. All and, these people uh, are family. I mean, I, and Sean our, came around and took her from me. <laughs> Becky ended up marrying um, <laughs> Sean from Phillips, Craig, and Dean. And so he is a pastor, and she is an amazing pastor's wife. Yeah, so yeah they're, we were, we're they're all happy about that. That's, yeah. that's some yeah. good questions right there. There's one more. Miguel, what is your fondest memory of singing with the Heritage Singers? You know, I think uh, my number one memory with, with singing with the group, and we're still singing. There's going to be many more memories. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think it has been this experience with Shirley. I, I don't think there's yeah. one that I'll ever forget. Yeah. But I think, I think I also love the times when we're kidding around. or when, <laughs> My dad's when, telling stories. When, Ma when Max and, and we're all, we're, uh, Max is sitting at the airport and we're all like little kids around him and he's telling these stories and we're laughing. <laughs> and we don't care if our plane was delayed three times already. We yeah. just sit there and laugh. That's the true. old I love farm, it. living on a farm. That's right. <laughs> I, I love it when Max forgets his words because, you know, it just tells us that we're <laughs> human we laugh about it and then i get up and i forget my words and so oh wow we're just we just have a grand old well time. this Those has been memories. a wonderful wonderful time oh, together thanks for having me max and uh, thanks for keeping me around we've got uh, we've got a lot of things we need to do before jesus comes yes a lot of a lot of places to go and share and that's what i that's what i i believe we can't we, we can't we stop have, no there's we are we this is the time yeah. where, we, where people we need, need to, to pray keep for doing us ministry. so we're struggling that's again right. and the people please pray for us that's right and we want to encourage you to tell your friends and family about this weekly show that we have we would love for as many as possible to join because it's actually a way that's keeping our ministry alive and going, continuing. And it's a way that we can minister to you and we can share these times with you and your questions. And it's, it's something we need to, to get out to our friends and, and families. And if you would be uh, willing to do that. That would really be awesome. Yes. Loving yes. God and loving each other. You have another question there. Oh my goodness. Miguel, ha, ha, Miguel have the same dreams, but for me, it's just to host heritage singers in Africa, Rwanda. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> I think my bags are already packed. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for your comment. Thanks for your questions. Praying that for would you be guys. awesome. Yes. To go there. And yes, please, if you're watching, pass this work, pass this along, you yeah. guys. The only um, way it's going to work is if people let people know and, and that we have this. And yeah. we're not going to be traveling as much on the road. But be, be, what what this does bring in is going to help us to continue yeah, to will be, be singing. And we're going to do concerts, but we probably won't. You'll probably see us more around the world. In fact, you will. You will see us more around the world than if we do a concert uh, somewhere in the United States or overseas, because yeah. every week. And the group's going to be all here, and we'll be singing yes. more. Yes, more, more, so, more good stuff. We're going to bring the group uh, up. Oh, you have another question. i got to answer this one. Uh, one of my favorite songs, uh, this is another question from Africa. Miguel, what is your favorite song after joining Harry Singers? One of my favorite songs has been Peace Speaker. Oh, but I love that. when I, wow. when I first started when I first started singing my all-time favorite was No More Night. And I absolutely I started singing I sang that song as a soloist and when oh, I joined the did. group uh, we wow. we started to we we did it as a group and I absolutely love that song. So. Why don't we No More Night will be with Jesus and Shirley. What a time that will be. And, um, <laughs> no More Night. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in today and tonight or whenever you see it and uh, keep us in your prayer share the good news wherever you go bye bye everybody bye everyone have a blessed week